Nicola Appleton. Over there. I hear our main suspect's turned herself in. That's OK. I can deal with this if you're busy with your CID friends. No, no, believe me, I'm far happier here. Oh, didn't know you cared. Megla Aberdeen, thanks for coming in. Didn't have a choice. Better be good, or I'm going to sue you for wrongful arrest. Well, we haven't arrested you yet. OK. Racial harassment, then. Has that pig Ronnie been on at you? You were identified as being at the scene of a crime. We just need to establish the facts. Yeah? And when do you lot bother about facts? Such cynicism in one so young. I like her. You should check that Ronnie out instead of hassling me. We already have. All above board and legit. Whereas you, two counts of shoplifting, one of criminal damage. That wasn't my fault. There's another one for counterfeiting CDs. Should we continue? So I'm guilty of everything that happens around here then, am I? Well, no one's saying that. So what is it then? My face doesn't fit. The colour on my skin. What? I might look like a thug, but I don't do racism. You see, it's zero tolerance here. Should we start again? Right, from the beginning, please. I was in the shop, and he started winding me up, as usual. How do you mean? He waits till there's no one there. Then he starts with his snidey, racist remarks. About me, my parents. They won't shop there no more. We get that he's not going to win any medals for interracial harmony, but why fuel his prejudice by stealing from him? Just got to me. Anyway, I didn't steal from him. I gave the beers back. Gave? OK. I gave the beers back. At speed. <laughs> then you stole from him anyway? No, I didn't. How about the money from the till, Megler? What money? I didn't take any stinking money. <laughs> 